Hi, Sue Yen, Oceana here with G3 Agency. Um, this video is, um, I'm creating this video for you so that you can get yourself in front of the people searching for your services on Google. Uh, if you take action and do these things, um, you should see an increase in the amount of calls you're getting um, and um, it should increase the amount of money that you guys are making every month. So um, that's really why I'm doing it. Uh, if I have anything in return for this video, I would really love some feedback on it. Just letting me know if it was helpful, um, if I did a good job of explaining things, etc. Because I'm always trying to improve, as I'm sure you understand being a business owner yourself. So, um, okay, so let's just jump right in. Um, so the first thing is, I would really, um, I would really suggest that you. Uh, put your phone number up here. Um, I see that you've got a click to call um, thing there. Is it? Oh, it does display. Okay, good. It was just because I had it on like tablet mode because I was I was doing it like this. So that's fine. Um, let's see. Just gonna see if oh, it went all the way to the bottom. That was weird. Um, so these words are kind of cut off uh, a bit. So I would maybe replace this image and try try it a little bit differently, maybe with using HTML to create this instead. Um, and then uh, I I would suggest you increase the amount of words on your page. So I'm going down. You actually have a decent amount of words to begin with, but um, I would increase that by quite a bit. You want at least a thousand to two thousand. Um, many times you suggest even three thousand, depending on what your competition's doing. But we'll check that out in a second. Um, I do love that you have this uh, these images here. Um, I love this blue chair. I mean, the um, the difference here is astounding. Oh my god, I wouldn't even have known that this was a blue chair. <laughs> It's amazing. But if I right click on this image, I can see um, you saved this image as sofa after, which is perfectly fair. Um, it is a good description of what's in there. But what you could do is also include those phrases that people are typing into Google when they're looking for your services. And I will show you actually, these are those, uh, those phrases. So there are about a 450 people a month typing carpet cleaning Orlando into Google. Um, and it's a fairly competitive word to show up for. Um, this 26 means um, it's a score out of 100, but um, the higher this number, the longer it's going to take to get to the first page of Google, as well as um, how more the more effort it's going to take. So I like to go after uh, uh, keywords that are a little easier to get to, like this 11 here is going to be pretty, uh, pretty good. And oh, I go back. I didn't mean to click on it. Um, so cleaning services Orlando. There's 350 people a month looking for that. So um, that would be a pretty good, um, uh, good phrase to show up for. So once you've identified what phrase or phrases you want to show up for, um, when people look on Google for them, what you want to do is actually type them into Google yourself and to see what you're up against, see what the competition is doing. So first, this is the um, Google guaranteed part of the results. It is, um, oh, that's weird. It's got two, oh, it's two different cleaning authorities. Um, so this, people are paying to show up here. And um, I, I'm not going to go into it. I honestly don't know very much about this particular part. Um, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to pretend to do that. I have colleagues who do know a lot about this, but I'm here to explain how to get to here and how to get up to here. So, um, this part here is called the map section and it's basically the top three local or, uh, local results from the maps from Google maps. Like if you, if you searched right here and, um, uh, how you get up into this section is with, uh, sorry, citations. <laughs> it's going to be the end of the night and forgetting words. That's not good. <laughs> so um, what you want to do is you want to go to your Google My Business listing and make sure that it's uh, up to date, that it, specifically that your name, address, and phone number are right, because then you're going to take that information and put it all over directories like Yelp, Yext, City Star, White Pages, Yellow Pages. Um, and when you do that, each one of those listings is, is going to count as a citation. And a citation is basically a vote of confidence in your business showing Google that you really serve the area. And that's going to help to prove, uh, basically to push you up the results 
into the maps section, uh, a maps pack here. If you end up in the top three, you end up here on this first page of Google, which is great because it's going to push a lot of people over to your website, or it's, you know, it's going to encourage people to go to your website. And then also you see there's the phone number listed right there. So you will get more calls. Uh, and actually when you're on a mobile device, this is a click to call. And then down here, this is the organic section. This link right here will get more clicks than any other link on this website or on this page, I mean. Um, so this is really where we want to be sitting. This isn't a bad position to be in and neither is this one, but this one's the best. So we're going to look at their website and figure out what it is that they're doing right that um, we should also be doing. Um, let's see, actually, I want to go to their, their home page. That's the one that was uh, that was showing earlier. Um, so this is the page that actually is on that uh, on that results. This is that page right here. So um, let's take a look at the amount of words that they have because you want to definitely have more words than they do. And it's looking like that 1500 that I suggested earlier is going to be plenty. They don't have that many words, so it's not going to be hard to beat them in that way. Um, and then if I right click on this video, and this is the same thing with images. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I have to do this, save a video as. I can see they saved this image as pay for performance, which is not one of the keywords we were looking at. So there's another way we can get ahead. If you optimize your images by saving them as those phrases, that's going to be another strong signal to Google to show you when someone searches. And then um, if I put their, uh, their website into this tool that I have, this is the Ahrefs tool. It's the same. Um, it's the same tool that I used to do the keyword research earlier to show you this list of keywords here. But in this case, I'm using it to do um, site exploring. And it's giving me a few important metrics here, which I'll point out. This UR score is how trustworthy um, your uh, this web page is, according to Google. So it's got a 24 out of 100. This DR score is how trustworthy the entire website is. So they're slightly different, you know, um, uh, and this this score is a little different because there's different pages on there, as simple as that. Um, and then how you increase these numbers and how they did is with referring domains and backlinks. A referring domain is any website that has a link on it to your site, and a backlink is simply a link that goes to your site. Um, so we've got one, uh, sorry, we got 31 different websites pointing to this site 195 times. Honestly, this this amount is more important than this amount. Um, so we're going to go in and check out their, their, um, uh, <laughs> their backlinks. Uh, this is what we call a backlink profile. It's just the uh, list of backlinks that they have. So for instance, this one here, cleaning service reviewed. Um, this is a pretty good site for a backlink because, um, as you can see, it's about cleaning services, so that makes sense. And then it's got a high DR score. Um, this DR score is the same DR score that we looked at. Oh, uh, like this DR score here. This is for yours. I'm kind of peeking ahead for a second, but um, it's how trusted this site is. So um, a 70 is good because that's going to pull your average up. Um, whereas a low, a low scoring one like this one here, Orlando Location Magazine, um, that would be good actually because it's related to the area that you're in. So that's a good signal to Google that you really are in the area. Um, but it's DR score is low. So you don't want too many of these low DR scoring ones because those are going to bring your score down. And this one here, ugh, look at that. I don't even know what to make of that. <laughs> um, so that would be another one to kind of avoid. But you can go through your uh, competition's backlinks and see if there are any that you would like to show up for too. Like big list of web websites is probably one that you could easily get. Let's see. Um, you could probably add your... Um, Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is weird. Um, normally you can add a, a listing to these, but I don't know. <laughs> um, but okay, so you can go through basically and, and ask to be included on some of these that you find. So let's compare their... Um, oh God. 
I've got a um, <laughs> butter meshes, a bunch of messages coming in. Um, okay, so uh, they have 24 here in their UR and 31 in their referring domains. These are the two that are very important. This is probably the third most important thing is the DR rating. So over here, you can see this is your website here. I believe. Let me make sure. Yes. <laughs> so this is your website here. So um, you've got a pretty impressive DR score, and you, that must mean that you probably have a very impressive uh, referring domain uh, profile, which I will check out in a second. But your DR score is um, concerningly low. The reason for this is that you probably have a bunch of referring domains pointing to your home page, but zero pointing to any other pages. And I think that might be because you have a one page website. Um, you want to add at least like one other page to your site so that you have a well rounded site. Yeah, it looks like it's just, yeah, it's just a one page site. Um, so it would be a good idea to um, have more than one site because, I mean, one page on your website because it's hard to get a high domain rating without that. Um, but let's check out your backlink profile. So we've got some good ones here for sure. You got a few local, a uh, so few smaller ones, but it's um, relevant. So I think that they're worth it. Honestly, I think this is a really good backlink profile. I just would suggest creating another web web page, um, even if it's just a contact page or something, and having some of those backlinks go to that page too, so that you can get a DR score. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's the nitty gritty of it. I hope that. Oh, I'm sorry, this was almost 12 minutes long. Um, I hope that I explained things well and that this was worth the 12 minutes of your life. Um, thank you so much for watching and for getting to the end. I really appreciate it. Uh, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks and have a wonderful weekend.